Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today is going to really cut out an exciting episode because this is where I'm going to, you know, systematically show you how historically how we contacted each other, other animation fans and that kind of stuff, without the use of what we've really known as the internet as we know it, okay? Now, I've already covered in a previous episode that, you know, uh, you know uh, in our early days of anime, we didn't have you know, for example, Windows 95. We didn't have the same kind of browsable internet as we know it, okay? As a matter of fact, even with those people who have email addresses, I mean, a lot of us didn't even have real email addresses. I mean, because a lot of our, uh, you know, email addresses would have been tied to, uh, for example, a teleco company that we would, um, you know, have to sign up for dial-up in order to get actual internet, okay? So, for example, a lot of you maybe, you know, have a, you know, uh, William dot uh, William dot Chow at AOL dot com for example or something like that okay you know, those type of addresses okay so we didn't use email to communicate with it instead we use a lot of letter writing okay so you know Canada Post U.S. Um, Postal Service and that kind of stuff we'd actually have to you know write and send a letter to each other and then back and forth and you know you know the, the days required or the weeks or months required to send it back and forth you take time and all that kind of stuff to write it okay so I'm gonna go actually go through uh, a real life example of mine um, of, of, of uh, what we had to go through and basically, uh, you know, um, the, 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 the sort of the progression, okay, uh, one event leading to the next, to the next, to the next, on how I did, okay? So, again, like I, I, I said in a previous uh, history episode, um, you know, when I arrived in Vancouver, one of the first things I did is I went to one of the local comic book stores. And unfortunately, you know, in um, the, uh, the Collingwood area, there was this, uh, you know, uh, uh, book uh, it's kind of a half used book slash comic book store, okay, um, called the Comic Emporium. It was located right on Kingsway near Joyce um, um, uh, Bus Loop, uh, the Joyce uh, Bus Loop there, okay. And um, so I went in there, and there was a, the, the, you know, there was a, you know, rather, you know, I guess he was about the same age as me, but you know, a young kid there was sort of there. He was sort of interested in anime. But he knew that there was this, th you know, there's, there's this anime club in Victoria, okay? And it was run by a person named Nicholas Condor, okay? And so I got some, you know, some information on that, and basically I, 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 I you know, got the, the information of where the Victoria chapter of the, um, you know, animation club was, and I sent a letter over to them and asked them, okay, well, you know, I'm a new, you know, Japanese animation fan, uh, and uh, I'd like to give you some know, information about, you know, this, you know, Japanese animation thing, okay? Because again, at this point, I didn't have any tapes or any, uh, you know, uh, knowledge of that. I mean, I saw some random episodes of like Rover Tech or you know Star Blazers on TV. Um, you know, you know, being in in, in Canada, I, I watched a little bit of uh, you know French, um, you know CBC, and they had uh, you know uh, uh, Al uh, Albator, uh, which is Captain Harlock in French, and so I got a little bit of that. But otherwise, I didn't really know much of anything else. And I didn't record very much of anything else at that time. So. You know, write a letter to introduce myself to Nicholas Condor and and, and send that off to the address that, that, that I got given. Um, okay, um, so uh, when I got to the letter back, um, I managed to get um, a copy of this particular thing here. Okay, now I said it in a previous episode, this is what we refer to as a fanzine. So this is sort of like a, a club newsletter, a fan made magazine. Okay, and um, it basically covers uh, basically, you know what's happening in the club uh you know some synopsis and some information about uh you know uh maybe some shows that they're maybe playing in the in the future or they're playing and they're able to basically hand this out to their membership uh so that they can get some information you know while they're watching the video or that kind of stuff so they know what they won't get totally lost watching a japanese video with no subtitles or no translation right so now they at least got something to work with kind of like the you know cole's notes version of the of the show kind of thing right but this book was very 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 important because what it basically is is it it, it allows me to now uh, connect with more people and to get more information because in this uh, magazine that i got from him okay it contains um, you know, articles and that kind of stuff, and but it also has more information on how you join 
not only their club, but it also gives you information on uh, and adds on how to join this thing called the Cartoon Fantasy Organization, which is, you know, CFO for short, okay? Now, what this organization is, is basically it's a whole bunch of little clubs, just like the Victoria Club, okay? Located all across North America and, and Australia and a few other places like that, where, you know, it's all these little clubs connected together in this network, okay? This organization, okay? And they're all interested in, you know, cartoons, anime, and that kind of stuff. Um, but they basically, you know, exchange information, they exchange newsletters, uh, you know, they they're constantly, um, um, you know, uh, distributing their, uh, you know, shall we say, address book, okay? A list of other people that are in the cartoon fantasy organization with each other, okay? They made basically this directory, okay, of different people that are also interested in Japanese animation located all over North America, Canada, Australia, you know, England, whatever, um, all in this sort of master book okay i mean and then at this time this is like you know the way you do it because i mean you can't just go to your yellow pages or your white pages and look up japanese animation and hopefully something's there i mean you might get away with a japanese restaurant like a sushi place or something maybe a you know a japanese automotive place to fix japanese cars but you're not going to find no japanese animation comic book or video rental store and you're not going to find none of that kind of stuff I mean, it's hard enough for me to find like Fuji video or or a Kikiku video or something like that. You know, it's just it's just not listed under Japanese animation or Japanese, um, uh, you know, uh, video stores or something like that. Okay, it's just not there. So, this most important thing is, is this list. Okay, and so going through this list, I basically made a well, uh, the short word is, is essentially is the equivalent of a kind of like a, a, a form letter, okay, as it were, um, that I made up uh, on my old Apple II uh, computer, and I printed it out you know, on, on a standard dot matrix, print, uh, matrix printer, and basically, again, made a letter that just says, interesting, you know, hi, my name is William Chow, uh, I'm, I'm a new animation fan uh, in Vancouver here, and I'm, you know, I'd like to know more about, you know, uh, the, the different types of anime and that kind of stuff that are out there, and like to learn, learn more about uh, this thing. My favorite animes are, you know, Matt Cross and this and that, whatever, and I go on and you know, just sort of introduce myself, and then and then hopefully some of these people will mail back, okay? So, in the concourse of this uh, transaction, I, dealt, uh, I basically sent a letter to, um, you know, one of these type of letters, to the CFO Denver. Uh, and again, same thing, I managed to get uh, uh, their, you know, a, a list of the, the different members that are available on their particular list. And, uh, and from that, again, I, I, you know, I mailed each one of those people, um, you know, you know, to see if I can find more information, introduce myself again to all the individual people that are in that list, and then hopefully, maybe you know, uh, you know, I can find some more different types of anime. Okay, now uh, I'm not going to use your real name, and the, the, the particular reason why I picked the, the, the this one is I just wanted to just as my first one to to, to show you is that. I want to get rid of the connotation that, that 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 has been with animation fans, especially at the very beginning, that and I also made an episode about this, but um, there's this really at this early time that anime is is has been tied together with hentai, okay? Because you like anime, you like porn or you like you know hentai stuff, okay? And is you know is really really a bad connotation it's, it's quite incorrect okay um now notably speaking you know the majority of the people that like anime at this time are male and maybe that's why oh yeah because uh you know w w the focus of most of the animes that they're being released and being licensed right now are you know follow the principles of the three g's which again i put in a previous episode the girls guns and gore so and because of that, you know, we're basically kind of, you know, tailoring the genre, uh, you know, towards the male audience rather than the female audience. But I'm go I've particularly picked this particular example for this uh, person, which I'm going to name uh, Cindy. Um, and so I sent her uh, the, the, this letter, okay? And again, so, you know, uh, after I get sent the letter, I, you know, I'll get sent back, you know, a correspondence, okay? So, you know, 
I kept the records of, of the particular things, but here you go. So this is the, the reply that I got back, okay? And um, the reply is uh, February 7th, 1988, okay? So this gives you a time, gives you an indication. 1988, okay? So again, I typed this part, okay? I typed, uh, you know, this part of the letter uh, in... Um, on a standard uh, Apple II computer, printed it on a standard Roland uh, PR1011 dot matrix printer, okay? So that gives you an idea of the tech level that we're talking about here, okay? But yes, so this person wrote back, uh, Cindy, uh, you know, in very nice, you know, four pages of very nice handwritten document. I'm gonna roll really close there, because you'll see that it's very well written, you know, nice handwriting, not like little you know, scrawls of like, uh, you know, and, you know, no lines of the, you know, the marker lines, like, you know, like line paper. And very, very nice to read it out, right? It's like, and again, you know, she'll do it, you know, thanks for your letter. I've always enjoyed hearing from new people, especially fellow Japanese animation fans. Although she said Japan animation. Um, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I am a member of the CFO, as you know, under the Denver chapter, okay? So again, that's how I got, you know, because I got the, the director listing from the, the, you know, the Denver uh, CFO, uh, you know, chapter head. Uh, again, I got the, you know, their member listing, and so I mailed them a letter to get that, okay? And then basically, yeah, she continues to say, yes, uh, I am 20 years old, and I am the first year a student at the University of Colorado and Denver, um, I'm you know, presently considering a double major in music, vocal performance, and electrical engineering, which is kind of interesting because at that time I was also going through UBC um, uh, doing also electrical engineering at that time. So then eventually I switched to the sciences anyway. So, um, but yeah, she continues on, you know, this is, uh, you know, um, and then, you know, she continues to, you know, to say that, you know, she likes to draw and that kind of stuff and whatnot. Uh, my favorite Japanese animation titles are Arion, Crusher Joe, Zeta Gundam, Double Zeta Gundam. So again, same sort of you know, shows that I was sort of interested at that time, which was Gundam and Double Zeta Gundam. A lot of um, um, uh, y y y Yoshiko type of uh, art, uh, animes in there, which is really good. Okay. okay. But what's nice is that, you know, again, this person you know, spent the time to sit here and carefully write out, you know, multiple pages of uh, of a letter back to me at this time and again that's how we had to communicate so after i sent her a letter she sends me back this letter um i generate a another re reply on my you know apple writer um uh, computer there and uh send that back uh, to, to her okay and then once i send that okay um the reply comes back okay so that one was done on february 7th okay uh the reply back comes back on uh, February 21st, okay? So it's not, you know, oh, I'm gonna write an email and send it to her and it, and it comes back magically, you know, magically, you know, minutes or hours later. No, we're talking about weeks later she writes this letter back to me, okay? And again, you know, so I'll put a little really close again to the camera there, okay? You know, very nicely written, you know, Fairly good, very well, you know, handwriting is, uh, is very well done, okay? Not like it's a messy scrawl or anything like that. And, again, it's multiple pages of it, right? It's not just, you know, it's just one page, there's two page, three page, uh, four pages, five pages, six pages, right? Okay? Okay? There's multiple little pages of, uh, of, of text that she, she, she writes in here, right? And then, you know, again, you know, asking questions back and forth, right? You know, do we, we make a mention that, uh, you know, that we, we, we are, you know, we're drawing pictures. Like, one of the things that she, she mentions is that uh, one of the things that she has on her wall is a large uh, picture of Camille drawn on the wall. And again, at this time, I was doing a little bit of drawing as well. I'm not a great artist, but I, I had drawn a, basically, to, tried to basically draw a to scale picture of Minmei. And uh, again, I've drawn that and put that on my, on my, on my wall. And so it's just like it's just she has done, she's drawn a picture of Camille and um, put that on her wall. So again, so we're writing letters back and forth about this and that, or, or different parts of our collections, or our, our, our books and that kind of stuff, uh, our manga interests, uh, you know, different anime interests and that kind of stuff. Um, 
and I'll, uh, you know, write her back, okay? And then, you know, I get to, you know, to the next letter, okay? So I have to send that back to her. She'll send me back a letter. And this time, okay, she sends, you know, a loose leaf paper this time, but a long letter like that, okay? Now, again, that one was written in May, okay? Or, sorry, written in February. Okay, now we're also now we're at May thirtieth. Okay, when the you know when the you know the exchange of this letter comes back, the, the letter comes back. Okay, you can you know you know getting back to you know different letters here, right? Um, so I've already sent her uh, you know some some tapes that she's asked for, and it's like okay, yeah, it says uh, the tapes are great, thanks, Gotcha Man and Fordora did look like hell on my TV, you know, again, so, so now we're getting to the thing, the, the, there's this whole issue about, you know, when you make a copy of a, of a tape to another tape, uh, you know, the quality is always not, is not the same. So again, at this time, I do believe my fan, my copy of Fandora was, was pretty sketchy and horrible as it was, so trying to make a copy of that onto, an, onto another tape to send it to her probably made it even worse. And obviously that's you know, so she comments that yeah yeah it didn't look uh, it looked like hell well it wouldn't surprise you but don't worry about it everything else came out great um, uh, yeah anyway um, she found uh, I quickly find out that after sending a list uh, of her she had a whole bunch of audio cassettes of soundtracks okay so again um, a lot of us at this time you know don't have CD players or that kind of stuff um, right because that, that that is now yeah but a lot of people had records. And a lot of people made rec- you know copies of you know the records onto an audio cassettes, and of course you know then from audio cassettes you can make copies of an audio cassette to, to an audio cassette. So anyway, so she had a large number of you know great soundtracks on audio cassette, uh, which again you know uh, you know we, we've made arrangements to make a, a tape trade for those type of things, and that's how I started getting my audio tape collection going. Right now, again later on, um, I, you know I learned to replace. My audio cassettes with the actual CDs, and that's why you know you, you see my CD collection growing as large as it did because I was you know initially got that big uh, initial push to you know find out which CDs are the same as the audio cassettes that I have, and then replace the audio cassettes with the actual CDs. So a lot of those ones that's how I got started. But anyway, um, so at this time we've now exchanged photos, right? So I've shown her. Picture of myself as well as a picture of uh, the Minmay picture I, I've drawn. And she has now sent me a picture of herself with her picture of uh, uh, Camille. Okay, and again you can see the uh, uh, reason I picked uh, you know, Cindy in this case is that um, you know I just wanted to show that yeah you know, uh, you know the uh, in the beginning of uh, anime um, you know at this time you know. It's not just a bunch of nerdy guys, you know, watching hentai and all this other stuff. Okay, there are, you know, there are a lot of people that uh, you know who enjoy this thing. From you know, uh, you know, it's, it's not just restricted to you know, like I said, a male oriented genre. Okay, that was the the big misconception, and that's why I decided to pick this one out as one of the key ones I wanted to point out uh, in this uh, in this episode. Okay, but yes, yeah, so I like your photo of you and Min May, cute. Okay, uh, you're really good. I uh, just uh, out of curiosity, how long did it take you to do a life-size picture? It usually takes me several hours, depending on who I'm trying to draw. Okay, so and the answer to that question is, it takes me a very long time, <laughs> days probably compared to others. Okay, but you know, so that's how we basically we communicate. We you know we start talking about different questions and then we we write them down and we send it this. Okay, now in this particular letter, okay, you know. Just to give you an indication, right? It's you know, again, you know, nicely handwritten um, uh, you know, text. As you see there, okay. But you know, that's you know, two pages there, uh, three pages, uh, four pages. You know, four four pages when you start asking, you know. Um, you know, questions about each other and basically answering each other's questions, you know, whatever. Okay. And front page is right there. Okay. And, you know. Okay. So that's another letter there. Okay. And then basically now you ask, well, how do you know, you know, um, you know, what you can get and what you want So usually what most people have at this time is what they call a trading list or a list. Okay. Because everything has to be done by a list. You can't just, um, you know, um, go to the website and oh yeah, my 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 inventory is on my website. It's not 
you can't do that. I mean, we're still using Apple II computers here, right? So um, you can't do that, right? So basically, um, in um, Cindy's case, what she did is she had a, um, you know, a, a, a tight um, uh, database sheet of all the various different episodes. So uh, here is a whole bunch of, um, you know, anime books that she had. So she basically inventoried all the different books that, that she has, I think. So if you're interested in maybe, you know, she can photocopy a page or two for you or whatever, or, you you know, you like that kind of artwork or whatever. You know, she's got different comics at this time. So, you know, Area 88 and that kind of stuff. I can see, you know, these different companies, you know, the, the old the entire Zeta Gundam games. Again, maybe I'll, you know, in a later episode, I'll, I'll, I'll cover those. Um, and whatnot, okay, and then of course different ages of animation magazines, and again I covered it in, in in a previous episode that you know these magazines were the key to the information that we got from Japan. It's the only way that we knew what animations were coming out, what what's available, uh, what you can buy, and that kind of stuff. That's the only way you knew that uh, this, this stuff was out. Okay, there's a uh, you know page two of her. Of her video because that list okay so basically you know she'll list you know um and a lot of people did, did this at this time they did they, they they kind of um graded how good of a copy their the video cassettes were you know whether it's a, it's a really good clean pristine copy of the particular video or was it a copy of some other person's copy of another person's copy of another person's copy and so you, you know uh, they had basically ratings, you know, so it's either a, a pre-recorded tape, i.e. they bought the, the, that particular tape, uh, you know, O for outstanding, E for excellent, G for good, F for uh, fair, and then P for poor. So <laughs> I guess the Pandora was, uh, that Pandora was in the um, uh, P category. Um, so yeah, so she lists, you know, she got Arion and, uh, uh, you know, Birth and Bari Bari. I see the Fantastic Adventures, the Unico. So, oh, you know, so, you know, she mixes, obviously, you know, the regular animation and cartoons and that kind of stuff as well. Um, uh, you know, Galaxy Express 999, always very popular. Laputa. Uh, I see she's even got, like, things like, you know, Legacy M. Uh, you know, Macross, El uh, You know, Mobile Suit Gundam, Nausicaa, you know. The old, ever popular x one one two 1, 2, and 3, you know, that is, yeah, you know, titles like that always happen, and of course, you know, again, on the very back here, uh, you know, last of his list here, so again, you know, uh, Zeta Gundam, Zillion, you know, you know, good titles like that, and that's it. so again, so as you can see, basically, once I got communication, and, you know, we, we got the letter writing going, then we, you know, quickly exchange, you know, information about what we have, what we know, uh, what our interests are, and that kind of stuff, and we just go on from there, you know, communicating about, uh, you know, questions that we have, what you like, oh, did you like this show, that show, hey, I'm interested in the audio cassette, if I send you some money, uh, you know, in this case, you know, we send a lot of things called money orders, so you either go to the, you know, to the post office, or you go to your bank, and then you you know you, you can get a uh, you know a, a drafted uh, money order or slash check um, that uh, you can send to these people and then they can take that to their bank and then they can cash in uh, for the you know for the money needed to buy you know what's that audio cassettes or video cassettes to pay for postage whatever you know you can send it to them and then they you know they could you know, make a copy of that you know and then send it back to you and again that's how in this particular case how we got at least started. Um, you, know, tr you know, exchanging information, exchanging tapes, exchanging, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's how the early anime fan um, got their material, got anime students to watch, and learned about uh, more anime, and learned about, uh, you know, information. So, for example, if we came across some things like, oh, yeah, you know, there's this uh, article in, you know, this uh, new type magazine. I can make a photocopy of it for you, uh, you know, and then uh, they, they can do that. They can you know, they take it over to, like, uh, like a staple slash Office Depot type of thing, photocopy it, and then they, you know, and they can fire off a copy uh, in, in the next mail drop. And so, what was really cool, and nice about this kind of thing is, is that, you know, every day, it was like, it wasn't like Christmas every day, but it felt like it, right? You, you, you know, you have the expectation that you know the postman's coming, and you know you never know what's going to be in there because you know you didn't know this person sent. Um, a letter or sent tapes to you and uh, so you know the postman may come up one day and he'll have a letter and you'll say oh okay I didn't expect a letter from this person so you open it up and read it and it's like 
oh, okay, he's, he sent me a, a catalog of, uh, you know, all the videos he has, okay? So I was like, right on, okay, I'll go through the catalog and see what I can, you know, what I can get, you know, maybe I can trade him some something or I can send him a money order and he can make a copy of the tape or two or whatever. Um, or some days he'll come and he'll have a package, you know, maybe a couple audio cassettes, a couple video cassettes. And, you, you know, I just tear the thing open. And it's like, oh, right on. It's, you know, my, uh, co- you know, copy of the, uh, you know, most speed of love, love and live. And it's like, hey, right on. So put that into the audio cassette machine and start playing. And then it's like. Hey, that's 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 pretty good. Okay, yeah, right on. Like, so, you know, it, 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 that 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 element of surprise is really you know kind of nice. It's like uh, it's not quite the same as what you get here. Like, I mean, you know, when you go online and you order something from Amazon, and it's like, yeah, okay, the guy's gonna show up on my door, and you know, whatever, and I get it, and it's like, okay, great, you know, whatever, you know, you know, my you know my my DVD box set of whatever, you know, of uh, you know. Data Gundam has come in. Okay, great. I can you know put that aside, and, or you know I can put that in the DVD player anytime, and it's like okay, whatever, right? But you know when you ask for stuff from different people from all over the world, and you have no idea when it's going to arrive, it can be you know usually you know a week, two weeks, maybe by you know snail mail and that kind of stuff. I mean, hardly ever anybody ever used you know, air mail because it's just so perfectly expensive. You know they weren't gonna. UPS it to you or you know DHL it to you so it's not going to arrive next day no 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 it's, it's going to be like yeah you know, I'll just throw it, put some stamps on it or go to the post office and they'll put some stamps on it and they'll just send it and it'll just arrive you know whenever you know one week two weeks a month whatever right it, it, it arrives and it's it it's always that great surprise when you open up the box and it's like hey okay this is this is something new or something I've been waiting for for a month and so you know you open it up and you and the first thing you want to do is i want to take this and i want to put it in the vcr and i want to find out what it is and you know or like you know especially if it's something that you've been you know waiting for or you know you know someone a lot of times will say hey there's a show called mixture one you know it's got this really nasty scene and you know whatever you gotta check it out so i said okay sure all right i'll uh, you know, um, you know, send me a copy or you know, whatever. I'll send you ten bucks, and you can buy me a cassette, and, and that should be enough to pay for postage or whatever. And, and just send me a copy, right? So I, you know, I mean, someone recommended it to me. I can go to the magazines and check out, you know, what's uh, this extra one all about, or whatever, and, and uh, you know, what kind of you know possible scene that he's talking about. But again, there's no way to, you know, get a preview of it. You know, you can't. I mean, I can look in a magazine and try to find a still frame of it. You know, type of thing, or you know, some sort of drawing, maybe of it. But other than that, I really don't know what he's talking about, right? So the only way you can find out is like, okay, sure, put it on a tape, send it to me, whatever. Like, you know, maybe uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm asking from uh, him uh, some Zeta Gundam episodes, and it's like, okay, you know, there's like, you know, half an hour left at the very, very end of that tape. Can you just? throw in that first extra one for me and then I'll, I'll have a look at it to see what it looks like kind of thing you know so you know so so with that you know if he's okay with that then he'll that's what he'll, he'll throw in you know some leftover part of the tape um you know he'll throw in a bunch of episode uh, like an episode or something or maybe some some um, random you know just just from the beginning to whenever the tape ends uh, of it and then maybe I'll, I'll look at it and say oh yeah it's cool whatever so so a lot of these things you won't know until you actually get it, and and that's what part of the surprise and and part of the you know I guess the the, the hidden gem that kind of that sort of memory uh, comes in at this era, okay? And, which is again uh, in the modern day is totally lost, okay? You, millennials don't know what this uh, sense of surprise, this feeling, this this sort of you know um, discovery is like, you know, but the, to discover a new anime to kind of you know, say, you know, I'm going to give this a try because someone told me to give this a try and then, you know, actual, uh, you know, be surprised about it. Because, I mean, it's easy enough for you to say, hey, check this out, click this link here, click, and then you click it and you look at it, you know, five seconds, ah, whatever, I don't like it. And then whatever, right? Whereas, you know, if you say, you know, take a friend's suggestion for it, I'm going to send you a copy of it. And then, again, you, you know, Weeks, maybe months later, you get it. You probably totally forgot about it. But then when you're watching it, then all of a sudden, like, 
holy crap, that was like uh, pretty uh, pretty epic. <laughs> so again, that, that that sort of era was lost, and that's probably why a lot of the the, the early animation fans. Uh, really enjoy their anime and really have something, you know, some sort of attachment to them. Because again, you know, you can think of all the, you know, the physical amount of work, you know, it, the, the time commitment required to sit there and, and, and actually sit there and write all this stuff out. I mean, you know, you know, Sydney did a really, you know, you know, you'd have to sit down. I mean, you know, college student. You got enough things to, to study and all this other stuff, but yet you had enough time to sit down and, and you know write. In this case, you know this is already like you know, you know correspondence, you know uh, number nine, right? So it's already like one, two, uh, you know, three, uh, let's see, you know four, you know, and it'll update it there. So it's almost like you know. Five pages of you know handwritten you know, print, uh, you know to, to write the letter, right? And you know, okay, again at the same time, you know not to not to discount what she's doing, but uh, you know I mean, at the same time, you know here I am, you know I'm writing, I'm typing back, you know one, two, you know sort of three pages of of of, of, of text back to her in type form, okay? So, you know, my letters aren't short going back either. So, you know, again, a lot of time um, is spent, a lot of resources, obviously, you know, not only just, uh, you know, sending money for, for tapes and that kind of stuff, but also, you know, the time required to prep them, to record them, to wrap them and that. Again, maybe I'll outline that, you know, fully in another episode. But again, I just want to cover uh, this one particular example of how I got started, um, uh, with uh, you know animation uh, and uh, correspondence and how to get anime in the early days, okay? So again, there's a lot more episodes to come. So what you want to do right now is you want to hit like and you want to hit subscribe, and that way you'll get more of these episodes when I get the you know the the, the information and stuff compiled uh, 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 for them. All right. So until next time, see you again.